Hey, I got gold fever and you wouldn't believe it. I'm out chasing gold and I don't want to leave it. This gold detector has got me on the run. All around Australia, it's got me roaming. I find a piece or two that... Well, we're out over this side now and these are my selection of uh, diggable targets. Found with your uh, GPX 5000. Yep. The little uh, 12 by 8 on it. Yep. Fantastic coil. We're going to compare again the difference between the two machines on targets that are in situ. And I think that's the only way really to test is to test it in the ground before it's been disturbed. Yep, that's exactly right. There's no if, buts or maybes then. This is just how it is. Exactly. Let's have a listen and see what you've uh, got on your first one here, Andrew. Just in there. Okay, we can certainly hear that. That's a great pick up with the five. Let's have a listen now with what the six and see what it sounds like. Screaming on that. Absolutely. Okay, let's have a listen again. Still in balance. There's no doubt that's a target. Okay, still a bit of gravel down there, so we're in with the show. Let's have a listen again. I think we've moved it already. I think it's somewhere just up in front of the coil there. Sure we've got it there. Good pick up, first scoop. Sounds like it's still in the scoop. I've got a bit of noise coming through. I'm just going to do a noise cancel before we yep. continue. You can hear that little bit of fluctuation coming through there. That's from the atmospherics. A noise cancel should knock that out pretty easily. Just one second. Okay, we're going again. I don't think so, but let's see what happens this time. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> we've still got the sound. Coming through nice and strong now. Not the big one. Isn't it funny how we always take the big one out? And we I do. Hope. I love breaking up the rocks. Very good. We're gradually getting through it. Let's have a look. What are we looking at here? Is that what I'm looking at? I think we're looking at it. Bring over the, just before we flick it, let's bring the camera over and have a look at this. <laughs> this is once again, we're in the whip stick and the coffee bush kid, the apprentice, has just scored this little nuggy. That's all right. That well, is. well done, Andrew. That is a, a great little find. Let's tip him out. There we go. Look at that. First piece of gold there found with the GPX 5000. Well, Dave, this is my second target, and by gee, I'm going to be absolutely peaking if I get two for two. Absolutely. Let's see if you continue. Uh, whip out our little chicken stick there, and let's have a listen with the GPX 5000. Can you hear that? I can hear that. <laughs> I think that's got to be a pretty clear target. It's certainly enough to stop you uh, to have a bit more of an investigation. I think I won't need to put this on just yet. Okay, let's just switch off there, Andrew, and uh, I'll have a listen and see if I can hear it through the six. Although I don't think we're really going to have any trouble on this one. Nah. Sounding a bit broader, the target, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, that's sort of got the top off. We'll let you uh, switch the uh, the five back on and let's have a listen again. Now that's still coming through very, very clear there. I'm liking down in there where my nose is. Let me take a bit of a swing at the pick and uh, see if we can't scoop that out a little bit more. I still think it's got a bit of depth to it yet, so it's uh, got that more drawn out signal, not quite as sharp. Yep. So it gives me the indication we've either got something that's deeper or possibly, as I found earlier, just a couple of little hot rocks down here. Down 
That's a great score there. So let's just come down here with the pick. Just take a bit more out. What are you thinking? Do you think we could have had some red clay there possibly? Or still in the hole? Does? Let's have a listen, see what comes up on the uh, 6,000 this time. Maybe we've just got a ground noise, Andrew, yeah, but maybe. I'm still not uh, prepared to fill the hole back in just yet. No, not yet. <laughs> okay, we've done our noise cancel and always start up on the six. Check my ground. I would have thought it should have got significantly louder. That, before that last scrape, it was screaming, and then it just vanished. Sometimes you'll find that does happen when you break up the mineralisation. Yeah. It's not as intense, so the, the signal disappears. Well, it's your target, it's your call. Would oh. you like me to dig a little more out for you? We're hearing it. Yeah. Hearing something through the six thousand, the five thousand, there the six thousand struggling, which tends me to believe that possibly we've just got a ground noise. Okay, let's have another listen now. Right. It's at points like this where you start to think to yourself. Are there multiple nuggets there? You do, and it does happen sometimes. I'm tipping this could still be a little bit of hot ground, but at least we've got somewhere to have a listen now and see if we can take that target out. I'll scrape it up and let you have a listen again. I would be tempted. Okay, it's got that lot. I wonder if that is another is target. <laughs> is the ground, no, is the ground being at depth? Do you remember how we... Yep, it could be. See, I'm he thinking that we haven't got any signal from the six. It should have been hearing something. Maybe it is still the ground. If I put in like that, that should be screaming. That should be by now. Yeah, I think maybe. We might have to repair our uh, hole. hole and uh, move hole. on, I think. Um, ground. All of them have got, both machines, whilst we've been out, have got here and we've heard ground noise through both of them. So we are listening only for the faint targets. That's where the comparison counts on the targets that are marginal. And that's where we're seeing that both machines thus far are performing fairly well. Yep. Maybe a little bit louder on some targets with the six. Maybe not uh, much difference in the ground noise because both machines have had a bit while we've been out. Yep. Let's move on to the next target. We're on to the third target now and currently the score is one for two. I'm a bit nervous now, Dave. Well, we could be a little bit nervous, but while you've marked some targets, I'm excited because this could be the fourth piece of gold between us. Let's have a look and see what we've got here. Here's the old truck stick out the way. I'm prepared to call that one as a, a definite target the way that's sounding. Just come out. I'll have a listen. Yep, and just have a listen, see if I can pick it up. I'm Think that we, I think we've got a target down here. Yep. Manual one, GPX 6000, the GPX 5000 <laughs> on fine gold uh, with a 12 by eight, 12 by eight nugget finder on it, set at 12 for both the stabiliser and for the game. Check on ballast in here and let's have a listen over the target here. Come in from a different angle here. I might 
spread the pile out for spread you. Spread it out a little bit and see how we go there. Hot rock. Hot rock. You can hear the sound. I wasn't as certain when I had a listen with the 5,000 on whether we whether we had a target, yeah. but it's certainly reacting almost equally to both machines, isn't it, yeah. really? Yeah. This is my last one to see if I can catch up with Dave and make it two for two, or two each. Two a piece. Yeah. It looks like it's in a good spot. There's a couple of old uh, remnants of dig holes that probably haven't been quite filled in around us, but we think this could be another target. Let's have a listen again now. Area, and it does sound quite faint. It seems to be from both ways. Okay, let me have a listen now with a six and we'll see uh, if it comes up any clearer with the six. It's just doing its noise cancel. And it's great to do these comparisons. Good to be out here, a great day. Uh, and we're seeing that both machines are performing well. Um, and we both got gold. Get me balance right there. That little bit of a drawn out sound giving me an indication it may well just be ground. But loud it's, it's loud, we're going to take the bit off because you never know when one of these turns into those elusive pieces of yellow metal. Okay, let's have a listen again. That's just screaming. It is. I'm going to take a bit out this side and see what happens this way. Just take a little bit off the top here, break it up a bit. Still sounds like there's something there, doesn't it? Uh, it's sounding different. It's getting that warbliness. That's nearly like it's not as solid as it was before. That might be why. Do you think we might have it out? Just try up here and see if we get the... We've got two! <laughs> two? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, let's take a little bit out. I reckon it's probably some ground, but let's have a listen. I'll drop it then, just have a listen there. Well, I, the ground. I think we've got some more ground there again. Well, there we have it. That's five targets apiece. Yep. We've done really well out here. It's been a fantastic day. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, two pieces of gold. One piece of gold. Not going to uh, pay off the national debt, but certainly got ourselves fit, come back with two tried and tested machines and still finding gold right on the edge of the Whipstick National or State Park. I think this part is where we are. Uh, northern side of Bendigo. I'm Gold Digger Dave. I'm the Coffee Bush Kid. You've been watching Detecting with Dave on the Mine Lab Show. All around Australia it's got me roaming. I find a piece or two that